Hello and welcome to another episode of Loxone Explained, the video series for all tech enthusiasts, Loxone partners and those looking to become automation installers. Today's episode is all about load management. With Loxone, electrical devices can be intelligently switched off if a predefined maximum power consumption is exceeded. Then, once it's safe to do so, they can be automatically switched back on. The maximum power available for a house or building will depend on its supply from the grid. In Germany and Austria, for example, 14.5 kilowatts is usually available for a residential home. Although it's important to point out that this does vary in other countries around the world. Of course, when you have electrical devices that consume a lot of power, such as car chargers, saunas, or induction hubs, and they're all wired in parallel, then the maximum consumption threshold may be reached sooner. For this reason, it is important to determine the required power of the electrical devices located in the building, and also to be able to intervene before the maximum consumption is reached. And this is where you can make use of the specifically developed new load manager function block in version 12.1 of Loxone Config. The load manager monitors the current load in a building and protects against overload. When the predefined maximum power limit is exceeded, the loads assigned to the function block are disconnected and locked according to a set priority. In order to achieve this, the devices can be controlled directly via the mini server or via one of our various supported interfaces. Before we take a look at how to configure this, we'd like to ask you something. Are you enjoying our video content and want to stay up to date with all our future videos? If that's the case, then make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let us know you like these videos by giving us a thumbs up. But now, let's jump into the configuration. The new function block can be inserted via the dropdown or using the F5 search function. When you insert the function block or double click on it, the configuration window is opened. Now you can enter the various electrical devices and their nominal load. The top entry has the highest priority for load shedding, which means that this load is disconnected and blocked first. If the disconnection of the first load is not sufficient, further loads are shed gradually from top to bottom. My example here includes two heat pumps, a car charger and a sauna. In this configuration window, up to 12 devices can be intelligently disconnected when necessary, which should be more than enough to protect against overload. When you've added your electrical devices, the outputs on the block then need to be connected to the respective devices. An active output means that it's locked. The new object locking feature released in version 12 is ideal for this purpose. For example, the output responsible for the load shedding of the sauna is connected to the R input of the sauna block. If the load manager now disconnects the sauna in the event of an overload, the sauna function block is locked and the app displays why this is currently not available. The status of the electrical devices is determined via the status inputs of the function block. Now, the status inputs are not mandatory. However, the status is displayed in the Loxone app when using the inputs. On top of that, you will be notified if the device is disconnected due to a potential overload. The current total power being used is transferred to the function block via the CP input. The max P parameter is used to define the maximum power capacity. The function block uses these two values to determine whether there is the potential of an overload and whether a load shedding is necessary. The IR meter reader air or a Mopbus electricity meter are perfect for determining the total amount of power being used. Like always, these can be easily integrated into a Loxone system. And when sufficient power capacity is then available, the electrical devices are re-enabled in reverse order. We at Loxone would not be specialists in home and building automation if we didn't offer an appealing view in the app. In the app, the current overall power consumption, as well as the status of the individual electrical devices, is displayed in a clear and concise view. This was just a short overview of the load manager function block. Of course, much more can be done with this block to adapt it to the individual needs of your respective projects. If you aren't already a Loxon partner and you're interested in implementing intelligent energy management in your customers' projects, then check out the link in the description for more information on how to become a Loxon installer. Thank you for tuning in to this video in the Loxone Explain series. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you're always up to date with the latest news from Loxone. That's all for now though. Thanks for watching.